Shout out to the KJ fam and you rock with Kristen and Jamil, my cameraman. We're back, you guys, for another episode of Cooking with KJ. Woo! Woo! <laughs> okay, you guys, we promised it and we delivered. Well, almost. We're about to deliver. <laughs> We're back with the cooking episode. We're really excited. It's been forever since we cooked something. Since Thanksgiving is coming up, we wanted to do a Thanksgiving meal. So we're, today we are making Thanksgiving casserole, you guys. Yes. Yes. Uh, this was actually Jamil's idea. I thought it was pretty genius. <laughs> because you can make this uh, meal before Thanksgiving as your Thanksgiving meal or you can also make it out of your leftovers as well, which is super cool, very versatile. We've never made it before, but we're gonna show you how and let's see what we're working with, okay? So basically, this Thanksgiving casserole is gonna consist of layers, okay? So these are all the ingredients that you're going to need. Basically, you're gonna need some turkey. Is this a turkey? <laughs> not quite. It's not a turkey. We knew that ahead of time. They did not have any turkey breast. This is before Thanksgiving. We weren't trying to make a whole bird for this. So yes, we are using chicken. But just use your imagination that you're using turkey. Okay. <laughs> so you need some turkey. Okay. And then you're going to need, uh, need some stuffing. So we got some stovetop stuffing. Yes, I'm sure you guys have some homemade stuffing or dressing. I'm sure it's delicious. But we're gonna use stovetop just for the purpose of this video. We've had this before. It's pretty good. It does the job. So we're gonna make some stuffing today. Um, and then we need some mashed potatoes. I had already made some. So these are my leftover mashed potatoes from the fridge. So they look a little, they might look a little hard, but they are but it doesn't matter because we're gonna bake it all at the end, okay? Um, so basically we're gonna layer this. So you're gonna need a bottom layer of shredded chicken. Uh, we're gonna be putting basically um, some soup, green bean mixture on top of the chicken. Then we're gonna be putting some cheese layer on top. And then we're gonna end it with the stuffing. No, mashed potatoes next. And then you top it off with the stuffing, okay? So this is a layered casserole. Bake it in the oven at the end, and it's supposed to be coming out pretty good. So we're really excited. So for this recipe, we just have to do a little bit of prep work. We have some celery right here. We have a yellow onion, I believe yep. it is. We're just going to use half of it. Uh, obviously a knife. And then here's our uh, mix, our stuffing mix. And then we're going to be using this chopper to chop up the celery and onions. Shout out to Deronda for this amazing chopper. We love it. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, we are back. I did cut myself. I know, rookie move. I was trying to clean out the chopper thing and I sliced my finger, but I'm okay. 
uh, Jamil helped me put on a little band aid. So thank you. No, it didn't. It's a very little cut. I'm good to go. Okay, so I ended up making two boxes of stuffing. I just wanted to make sure we had enough uh, to layer because this is going to be the top layer of the casserole. So I want to make sure it covers everything. So I'm probably not going to use all of it, but that's totally fine. Uh, we just had to make sure we have enough, okay? And then I also wanted to let you guys know that uh, this um, onion and. Sorry. Yes, thank you. This onion and celery sauteed mixture here is not a part of the stuffing recipe. Um, I just wanted to add it because I think it's going to add some flavor to it, and I'm used to having a lot of onions and celery in my stuffing. So I just wanted to go for it. So you don't have to make this part, okay? And then also this is going to add a little bit of more juice here too, so that'll be nice. So I'm just going to add it all. Why not? Voila. And then basically you want to sa uh, saute this so the onions are super soft and the celery. The celery is what takes a while for it to get soft. So I probably sauteed for like 10 minutes. Okay, that's okay. Just gonna fast forward. Sorry. Make sure you know which part to film in here. Once you're done. Okay, you guys, so everything is mixed together, and I do have to say it looks incredible. Uh, Jamil tasted the stuffing off camera, and he really liked it, so I think this is going to be good. Yeah, it was really really good. I haven't had stove top in years. So. I know, neither have I. I haven't had it in a while, but I remember it being good, so I'm excited. Okay, so this was probably, I would say, the hardest part, the part that takes the longest, but again, if you're making leftovers of Thanksgiving and you want to make this casserole, you're not going to have to prep this, right? But uh, we didn't have any, so we did have to make it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead on to the next step, which is gonna be kind of like the soup mixture that we're gonna put in the casserole. So we'll be right back. I was actually gonna say I have no idea what size this is, but it's not by 13. So we're totally off to a good start. And you wanna grease it up, okay? A little grease, you don't want anything to stick. I never know, like, I don't even know. I how probably, much to use? I never know how much to use or how little. Cause you don't wanna overdo it, but you also don't wanna underdo it. So now we're gonna put a layer of turkey, even though this is chicken, don't tell anybody, but a layer of uh, turkey on the bottom, okay? So this is gonna be your base. Mm, I'm gonna throw this away. Yeah, go ahead. Little fatty. Make sure you don't put any bones in here by accident or chunks of fat, you know? Oh, anyways, yeah, this recipe calls for five cups on the bottom. So this cup is five, this bowl is five cups worth, which I think is a lot. Um, but we'll see, you know. You want to tell me where we got the chicken from? Oh, yeah, we have a confession to make. So we purchased a rotisserie chicken from the store, right? Well, it literally was like the smallest chicken ever, and it only produced like two and a half cups. So we had to run to the store and um, get some already shredded uh, rotisserie chicken, like pre-made. <laughs> so that's what we did. Okay, that's plenty, right? I feel yeah, like that's a lot. That's more than enough. Okay, like I kind of want to use the rest because there's only a little bit left. I'm yeah, gonna, use the rest. I'm going to. Whatever. Okay, so layer our chicken at the bottom. Okay, distribute it evenly. Okay, and then next we're going to be putting our soup mix over this. Okay. What's in that again? Uh, this is the sour cream and the cream of mushroom soup and the green beans and the salt and pepper. 
and you want to spread this evenly over the turkey mixture. So, I like to do in different areas, which I'm sure you all do this. We all have our own ways, right? Okay. Perfy. Should I get this? I love casseroles. They're easy, right? They're easy. They make um, a lot, so for a lot of people, great for leftovers. You want to spread this evenly over the chicken. It looks like a cake. It does look like a cake. Casserole cake. Okay. We have to do this. <laughs> we have to dance. It's a requirement. <laughs> it's a requirement. Okay, how does that look? Looks good. That looks good, right? There we go. Yeah. Okay. Looks even? Looks even. Okay. And then we want to sprinkle the cheese on top. Two cups of cheese is what the recipe asked for. Now, how did you get that cheese? Jamil shredded it for us. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Jamil. Jamil's good at what he does. <laughs> See how it's, finely it's shredded? It's very good shredded cheese, yes. <laughs> You were you were my sous chef, and you did a great job. <laughs> you clearly want a cookie for your effort. <laughs> Pat this down, make this even. Ooh, this is going to be good. Mm -hmm. So next, we're going to do the mashed potatoes over this. This, might, this part might be a little harder, but I'm going to do kind of the same approach where I'm going to put chunks... All through it. All through it. It lost its creaminess. It did lose the creaminess. And you know what? I realized the recipe did say if it loses creaminess, you can add some milk right before you do this part, which I forgot to do. But it's fine because as we cut into little sections, we'll get, you know, potato. So yeah, right. we're not going to be able to cover fully this layer, which I kind of knew we weren't going to. Mm -hmm. But as long as we can get a decent amount. And we didn't use as much mashed potatoes, right? No, we didn't. Uh, I, yeah, the recipe called for like six potatoes. I think like even russet potatoes. This is not six potatoes. Again, like I said, I use leftover um, mashed potatoes. So yeah, we use like half of whatever they were asking. Yeah, I definitely think so. But that's okay. I knew it was going to be a lot, but we're good. We're just going to spread it as much as we can. Looks good though. Yeah, right? Yeah. Making a puzzle. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay. So the last this is the last layer. And you're basically gonna cover this whole top here with the stuffing. Actually, I'm gonna use a different different tool. Different tool. Use more of a spoon spoon. Because it'll scoop better. Okay. Cool. And again, I don't think we're gonna use a lot of the all the stuffing. But we'll use a good amount. Let's go for this so it's faster. Wow, you guys. I mean, this is, makes a lot. It does. This is crazy. This says the serving size was like, what, 10? Yeah. It I was. believe it. It's for 10 people. Yeah, I believe that. Well, this is a legit, like, Thanksgiving dish. You know? Oh, yeah, for sure. Or leftover dish, of course. Right. But again, if you have leftovers, you probably aren't going to have, like, you might not have as many of the, as much as the amount that they're asking in this recipe, but you can half it. We're leaving the recipe in the description um, and on YouTube. It'll be in the description. And on Facebook, it'll be in the comment section. Right, babe? Yep. Okay. How does that look, though? It looks good. Do you want me to use more? Because I feel like we used a lot. No, I wouldn't put any more on that side. Okay. That side, I think there's a lot. I would get it right, yes, there. Perfect. Okay. From here, at least, you know, because I have a different angle. Yeah. Looks a, you know, it looks better that way. I think this looks good, too. Cool. Okay, you guys. So you want to preheat the oven to 350, and you're going to put this in uncovered for 35 to 40 minutes. This is it. Okay, so I'll put it in the oven right now, and then um, we'll check back on it in 30 to 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, you guys, we just took it out of the oven, and look 
how good this is. It is literally like 20 pounds, you guys. This is a lot of food. This could feed a huge, huge, huge family. Uh, so we're super excited. So we're gonna be eating this uh, with some cranberries and um, what else do we get? Oh yeah, some Brussels sprouts. So we're gonna have a nice Thanksgiving dinner. So join us on Thanksgiving uh, while we eat this and we'll do a review for you, okay? And again, if you want this recipe, please look in the description box on YouTube and in the comment section on our Facebook page. Um, yeah, anything else you want to say, babe? I think that's it. Thank okay. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you so much. This was fun. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't. Yeah. Took okay. Hours. <laughs> yeah. It took, it took a little while, but it's it fine. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. Okay. I'm excited to try it. I'm hungry. Let's do it. Let's do we'll it. We'll see you guys on Thanksgiving. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Share it as Carrie. Let your fans feel me now what the K and J fam are doing. And until next time, it will be a wonderful day, evening, or night. Whatever time it is out there, we will see you in our next video. Mm -hmm. Peace out, Trouts.